So I got an 89 Mack truck, dump truck here. That's not starting. Start a clicks and clicks, and then after a while, it might fire over, turn over, but it um, it's getting less and less now. I probably have to try to turn it over 20 times before it'll finally go. So starter needs to be rebuilt. It's just tired. This truck has 360,000 miles on it, and I have no idea when the starter was last refurbished. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it open and pull that starter off. I try to crank it. Well, this is a problem we've been having. Let's go look under the hood. Got to undo the grounds and the power cables going to that solenoid there. That's the red marked cables at the top got to reduce or remove a couple of grounds at the front of the starter there and then there's three bolts they're 12 point see one of them way down low down here this is one and then up here there's two behind these hoses and then the third one is directly behind this that's going to be a pain in the ass that one you need a long extension which we try to make Got a 5 8 uh, 12 point socket because this nut has 12 points. Okay, so got two of the bolts loose. This one on the back is hard to find. So if I put it on the front bolt, this head of my extension here is on the on this this line here on the starter. So if I look at that as a guide, then I know I'm in the ballpark for where the bolt is. So I'm gonna try to fish around the back side and catch that bolt. There's just not a lot of room in there. So I fished my extension into the back here. You can probably barely see that. And I uh, fished it around. I used a 3 8 so that the socket's a little smaller and the extensions are a little skinnier. And uh, I strung a few extension pieces together to make it long enough to get it to the end of the starter. But I was able to, just feeling around in the back there, found that bolt and uh, now put the ratchet on there and see if I can get it loosened up. And if I get that loosened up, I got the two front ones loose, those three bolts come out and then the starter should come out. Yeah. 
So I'm just loosening this thing as far as possible so I'm not going to try to find that blind nut again in case I got to keep threading it out. So I'm trying to get it so that that thing comes right out. So here's a view of that bottom nut from the bottom of the truck and then the back nut. You can just see it up in there. Uh, it has a socket sitting on it, which is stuck because as I backed out the nut, it starts to hit that edge of the that flange on the starter so it won't come out. So I think what I'm going to do is loosen the other two bolts up now. And then that nut and socket should start to uh, be able to loosen up and give me some room to get it out of there. So here are the three bolts. You can see these are they're pretty long. They're threaded in about an inch. Uh, and then there's about maybe an inch and a quarter. And then there's about half an inch that's just sitting in the housing of the starter, holding it, holding it in place. That's what the easy top nut looks like there. So now I got all three bolts out. Now I just got to wiggle that starter out of there. Don't underestimate how heavy this thing is. So got it out and I'm gonna take it to the rebuild shop now and just have it have it like new hopefully. And uh like I said it's a tight fit getting that thing out of there. It's gonna be probably more of a headache getting it in, but we'll see. So we've got the new starter here. It's a rebuilt. One thing you're going to want to make sure when they give you the starter back is that the diff the distance between your solenoid here and this ear, you see all these notches here? Each one of these is a bolt, right? And they can index this uh, piece here relative to the solenoid. And so what they'll do is they'll remove these bolts and they'll just rotate this so it's so that these three ears relative to the solenoid here are in the right spot for your truck so mine uh, when they first picked it off the shelf uh, there was only there was two bumps here then the ear and so I had to rotate it back over one so that there's just one bump here and that would match what we had on the other starter Basically, I'm just wedging it between the engine and this part of the frame just to hold it. It's so heavy. And then uh, angling it in into the hole there. And then I'm going to try to hold it there and rather quickly put that first bolt on the outside ear. That guy here. And to get it to hold it in place. <clears throat> So I had to cut away on the video because um, my back was in front of the camera for quite a bit of it. And uh, anyways, we ended up getting it in there. Uh, the trouble is trying to clear these filters. So what we're able to do is loosen that those bolts, uh, those nuts on that long um, threaded bolt there that where the grounds connect to. If you loosen all the nuts on there, then the threaded bolt will push inside the starter. And that gave us enough clearance to get around these uh, these oil filters and uh, get it in there because it was just such a tight fit. It just wouldn't go. Um, but I uh, got it all in there and now we're going to see if uh, it'll fire up. Uh, 
All right, go ahead and get this thing started. Give it a try here.